Hey guys, today I'm gonna teach you how to create your own custom map. So, first thing we gotta do is we're gonna click up here at the file icon. We're gonna do new map. Alright, so, it's gonna open up this tab right here. And the first thing you have to do is you're gonna name your something. I named mine test because it's easy. Just keep it kind of short, uh, not too long. You can change it later. Everything on this list you can change later. All right. These juncture tab right here is tactic. If you want like a map, you want to battle on or strategic, which is like army general mode. I'm pretty sure. Case X and the case Y is how long and wide the map will be. It's good to keep the number below 12 and multiply together. So something like three by three would be a good star design for us. I think. So let's just, uh, and then the decor sets, I usually just bring all of them down with me so I can have more models to play with. Okay, so these map graphic settings is just all the different types of textures for what the basic map will look like, you know, <clears throat> like the grass, the rocks, and the water. And the uh, environment settings is like what time of day it would be, and like usually like the color of the map. There's a bunch of different ones. I really like the cliff. That's a really fun one to play with. Okay, so now that we got all that done, we're gonna hit create and make sure that you got your case X and case Y good because you can't turn back after this. Well, that's the only thing you can't change. So once you do that, just hit create. Alright, now that your map is loaded in, um, this is what it looks like. It's a like a really super flat terrain and you can't really see much because the land hasn't been generated or baked yet. So if you wanna just uh if you want like terrain or any sort of land features at all what you're going to have to do is you're going to tab out, go to your files, um, and the saved games under your profile, Ugen Systems, Warno, and then Level Build. And then your map should show here. We named ours Test, so we're going to click on Test. And the height map is right there. That's what we're going to be editing right now. We'll just click on it, and uh, you can use any sort of editing software or art software. I use GIMP because it was just free. And uh, that's really the only thing I use it for. Um, but this is what your map is going to look like from a bird's eye view. Okay. And it's going to be in 16 bit grayscale. Um, so you don't have to do anything if you really don't want to. You can skip this step and just go on to the next ones. Just fast forward a bit. But if you want like mountains and things. Um, the darker the color, the deeper the terrain is going to go down, and the lighter the color, up to white being the highest color, that will be like a mountain or something. Okay, I like to use. I'm going to make like a, like a, like a valley. I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to use some dark colors here. You know, just so I can make like maybe like a nice little valley, and then. Maybe let's add some white. Let's add a nice little shade of white on the. So it looks like there's some mountains. You know? That'd be a fun little map to play. Uh, and let's just add just a little bit more darker shades to the mix so it looks. More even. Okay. <clears throat> Maybe a little bit more white. Let's get more white down here. You know. That'd be pretty cool. Have some pretty big ass mountains. Uh, and then after that, um, I'll probably just smudge out a little bit. So it makes it more natural looking. Make the mountains look like they have like ravines and things. You know, anything you really want to. It's your, it's your map, but this is what I like to do. And look at that. That's that's a baller map. 
And so uh, for the battlefield floor, though, I think I'm going to at least smooth it out so we have at least some land to work with here that isn't too crazy. So let's go ahead and make this a paintbrush and just paint it all real quick. Just a nice, a nice black color so it's all flat land. You know. Oh yeah, that's perfect. That's a nice color. I like that. Okay, that's pretty good. I think we did good there. Um, and uh, just to kind of uh, put the cherry on top, we're going to give it a nice blur so it all blends in together. Uh, somewhere like right there, I'd say. That's maybe a little more. Yeah, that's good. Let's do that. All right, now that we got that out of the way, let's uh, let's let's uh, save our file under the new map thing. Again, this is me using GIMP, but just save it to the height map, whatever file you make. Make sure you use the right file, or it's not going to work. Now that we got that done with, you can keep editing it to your heart's desire because it always it doesn't always come out the way you want to. You want to go to Warno, click on Browse Local Files, and go to Tools. So once you're here, you're gonna launch Generation, and you're just gonna let this uh, do its thing. This command prompt. Just wait for it to do its thing. All right, now that the generation is done, you want to click on the next one, Launch Map Baking. And you're going to enter your map name. We named ours Test, so we're just going to name it Test. And then we're going to hit Enter. And you're going to let that do its thing. It's going to take a little bit. Don't, don't fret too much. If you have a larger map, it's going to take a lot longer than usual. This is the game uh, generating the files necessary to bake your map. Alright, now that your map has baked, uh, just hit Warno, launch map editor, and just wait for it to load. Okay, now that you're here, just go to File, Open Map, and your map should be there. Mars is Test, so we're just going to click on Test. And here's your map. Here's my map. It came out alright, I think, just for a little basic strategy. Um, it's not as deep as I'd like, but that's okay. We'll go, we can go back and edit it whenever we want. Just go back to the files and just repeat the process until you figure out something you'd like. Just make sure it's always just that height map, or it's, you're going to have problems. Um, you can edit as many times as you want. Make sure there's no ends like this where it goes downwards. That's that's always a big no-no. Uh, you kind of want it everything to be level on the ends. Make sure there's no uneven terrain anywhere at the end, where it would be kind of just like an anomaly in the terrain. I think this is fine, because this is part of it. This is kind of what you want for details. But these end pieces all curving downwards kind of sucks. Anyways. Mm. Our land is nice and straight, and this is going to be our main battlefield area, I'm thinking. So uh, next time, I'm going to teach you how to create your terrain features or mountains or kind of cycle through all the different modeling techniques.